I wanted all that in there, but okay. Now it's recording. Wow. Band dude, Slime Time Live. Slam? Yeah, what, what's up? Slime Time, time, time What's up? Slammers? Slammers? Yeah, what's going on, Slammers? Welcome back, Z. Special shout out to you. Yeah, Z, you're the man. I don't, want, I don't like shouting him out that early. Nah, let dude, him let him quick. fucking sit and fester because, in it because you know he's like ah. I know but it's funnier if he if he thinks he's not gonna get the shout out and then at like 49 <laughs> minutes we're like oh yeah what up Z <laughs> you know? that's true I do yeah like but that. dude at the at the 52 minute mark he's gonna be freaking out Bro. double hard he's gonna be like two yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> twice <laughs> hit him two times we gotta timestamp it uh Nat man it's good to have you back well, it's, it's good back. to be back the show went off the rails last week without you we had a a, a, a redneck with cornrows. Just a Danny McBride character filming. The seat still you. smells. That wasn't yeah. Nat. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I just thought it was Nat. That's Nat's mom. <laughs> was uh, it just I didn't listen to the episode? Was it just like a lot of like explaining to Dean what like credit was? No. <laughs> um, it was uh we had your mom on the podcast last week and <laughs> we talked about gun control. We talked about a bunch of honestly it was boring. <laughs> um so I'm happy to have you back, man. You What's just got on? over uh you just got over COVID. The vid, yeah, man. It was chill. It's just boring, isn't it? Yeah, I just, I just, it, honestly, man, it just got me like writing a lot. It was cool to just be writing all the time and not do nothing about it. That was sick. Yeah. So now I'm writing a lot. That is what COVID is just boring. Yeah. Like co COVID is like, uh, it's like jail mm -hmm. where, okay, you, you, like if you meet somebody and they talk a lot about their experience with COVID or they talk a lot about their experience spending a night in jail, yeah, that person's boring as shit. Yeah. Because the, the, the thing those two things have in common is they're not scary, they're not dangerous, they're not anything. It's just boring. Yeah. So like people who like want to talk about their COVID experience a lot, unless you're an old person or you like you got hospitalized, it's like you boring piece of shit. It's like someone trying to explain their dreams to you. Yeah. Yes. You're like, I don't care about your dreams. My dream but my dreams but my, dream is good. <laughs> my dreams are yeah. great. Oh, that's the thing. I'm tired of actually I don't like that. The best was when uh when it was first <laughs> happening and <laughs> the reactions to stuff were so funny when it was like the first few months when there were some things that like like we did know and then there's some things that we didn't know so the conversation was always like when someone would be like oh yeah i lost my taste and someone would be like oh my god i lost my taste too and mm -hmm. it was like yeah it's on the news that yeah, happens yeah, yeah yeah and then the also the always always the end of every covid conversation was like it's just, it's a weird it's a weird does it we just don't know it's just dude it's a weird time it's a weird thing dude a weird thing if covid actually killed people i've killed so many people <laughs> <laughs> and what what do you mean just like i've i've definitely had it just not gotten tested and just gone to the mics and just like <laughs> dude i gotta get this fucking forward say, every time somebody every time somebody sends me a message it's like hey what you just did you did this to me a couple weeks ago uh like hey just got tested like i I'm positive for COVID. Mm -hmm. I'm like, why'd you text me? I know. Yeah. Don't tell me that. You keep that to yourself. We don't do, don't do contact tracing anymore. It's rude. You know who I did not tell on purpose after consulting with her boyfriend because it was a huge week for her was I was hanging out with Casey Schwimmer no, like no, the, no, night, no, 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 no. The, the night before she left to go start a job writing at SNL. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> night before okay, right. we were so, partying. So there's a chance that Casey Schwimmer, the newest writer on SNL's Shout weekend. Shout out to Casey, dude. Bro, yeah, that was fucking sick. Well deserved. So Young go. she could have just given that whole office code. It, it would be that. so, it would be so funny if day one, it's like the biggest break of her entire career and <laughs> she just kills Michael Shea. Yeah. <laughs> Colin Yost, dead. Yeah. Yost? How do you ball, baller how do you ass move. Is it not Yost? I think it's Joast. Oh, I thought he it's... was Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, yeah, yeah. You want to hear the most baller shit ever? I was talking to Casey. I thought that's how we got the job. <laughs> they were interviewing they were interviewing Casey for SNL and they asked her who her favorite stand up right now was and she said Shane Gillis. Yeah. Oh really? It's such that's a gangster cool. move, that's tight. dude. That's so, tight. such I didn't a gangster ass move. Yeah, apparently the dude Lauren Michaels and Shane Gillis are still really good friends though, so I don't think they really care. Yeah. I think they talk all the time. Still pretty like, recognized. Still here's pretty some, like sick. Here's something yeah, horrible that I did uh during COVID was like in the so it was probably like June or July twenty twenty two. Um fucking COVID's you know, really bad right now. Everything's locked up. The only mics that were happening were in northern Wisconsin, like very conservative Appleton, Wisconsin. So I would drive four hours and I would do the mic. Uh, and then I would come back and I was staying with my parents and my yeah. dad had just gotten this is like 70 years old 72 and he had just gotten over severe pancreatitis was just like 
deathly ill they didn't know if he was gonna make it like it was such a scary time in our lives and i was just like going to the mics and just coming back to my parents <laughs> house every night yeah. and I was just like i don't like it's such a stupid fucking thing i did in I, retrospect but i was like this thing's not real i was doing I was like, it's not real I was. Do did, did did you feel nervous though? Oh, I felt nervous Dude. all the time. Afterwards, Same. I was like, "What am I doing?" Same. You know, I was. I, I would stay up. I would like once in a while, I would, like take edibles and then just lay there and be like, "Did I just kill my dad?" Yeah. <laughs> I was staying with him for a bit too, and I would same thing. I would go up to Colleen to do mics. Yeah. And then I would come back and like I'd hear my dad like cough two days later. I'd be like, "Oh, you piece of shit!" I know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bombed. <laughs> one, one thing with that, uh, I don't know if I've ever said this publicly, but uh, I think he listens to the podcast, so whatever. But my cousin was a huge germaphobe, and we, yeah. he was in F South Florida, and we went there conservatively like eight times over the two years where COVID was hot. <laughs> like eight, nine times we just kept going to Florida. <laughs> just go out and eat and walk around. Like we just yeah, go yeah. to Florida. And every time he would have us like get tested either like before or after. And this was like pre-vaccination sometimes. And like I just see he was doing the most. He was so he was the first, one of the only dudes that I knew personally that was like wiping down groceries when he brought them oh, home. Wow. Mm -hmm. Severe germaphobe. Coolest dude ever outside of that. But one time Sounds we came like back it. and he was like, and he was like, can you guys get tested before you come over? You're staying with us and stuff. And we were like, absolutely. And they had the free like outside clinics. And uh, we pulled in and there was like 700 cars in the line. And there was like conservative wait time, like three and a half hours. Mm -hmm. So we just went and got lunch and called them being like, negative. Me and Tara, we were like, should we do this? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I felt bad about it. Though. If my <laughs> and if my dad didn't get sick and died, yeah, it's it wasn't real. Yeah, none of it was yeah. real, dude. I mean, then he went out. He started driving Uber and shit. Like, still, like in the height of the pandemic, he was doing it. It was, it was fine. I think it was real. I mean, <laughs> I had it. You know, like I think I yeah. think for most people, it was just it's real. Sick. You just had it. It's real. It's real. I mean, the th yeah, sure. But yeah, yeah. I don't what think I hung it? out what with any. It, you know, I don't think I hung out with any old people when we still didn't know what was going on with it yeah that's the thing i tend not to do that anyway right yeah <laughs> everyone's like hey don't hey may hey, don't do this because old people i'm like yeah i wasn't gonna see any of them oh They're nat you can't hang out with your great aunt for a little oh no <laughs> oh, 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 such yeah. a highlight of my day <laughs> <laughs> i can't visit aunt sherry no she has to be by herself that sucks that was like that was the <laughs> That was the best part, man, was just how little you had to see people. Everybody, I remember, like, reading all these, like, really long, I, you know, I empathize that some people probably had, like, you know, crazy mental health problems mm. during COVID. But, like, I remember reading these, like, long Facebook posts about, like, the depression and, and how, what people were going through and this isolation. And I was like, this is the best time of my life. Yeah. Like, I just <laughs> played, I just started and beat the last of us two in 12 hours making like, more money is, than ever yeah government's just amazing. handing you cash made so much money yeah. made some of the best i kept working some of the best and friendships. made less than you guys yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly <laughs> made some of the best friendships of my life me because it was like me and my crew we called ourselves the cds the COVID did not oh <laughs> no, we, we didn't, oh, just no. I, just some that. guys that like to bust balls well yeah, no but it was me and some dude, <laughs> dude, honestly i like i know this is like this comes it was just a it's just me and some other East Coast dudes telling it like it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what you guys do. Just throwing Theraflu tea off of an old wooden right. ship. Yeah. We would fucking chug some uh, Airborne and get after life. But yeah, no, it was, cool. me and so, it was me and some uh, some dudes from recovery, and like all the meetings were shutting down, and it was just Zoom, so we would start outside meetings, and there was like such a hunger for recovery that everyone started like showing up to all these outdoor meetings that we were starting, and we were just go live our lives and take hikes and like anyone who didn't want to be involved wasn't involved relapsed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. just relapsed yeah. and died yeah oh what's scarier COVID or crack cocaine that was the argument yeah. for a long time oh, really were people that, that, that really was everyone was like oh my god COVID I was like dude I have a disease I can die from like at any time yeah like at any time to, still and so that's yeah. really how I mean you don't there. have to I mean you don't have to. but how fun could, was though. just like when you had to sneak around to have fun, yeah. it just made it so much. Like, dude, you can't have that type of fun anymore. Now it's everything's back. Again, there was yeah. like curfews, and it's like, oh, like don't post. Yes, this. dude. Don't post this thing. It made you feel young. Yeah. I, I would always forget because I just never gave a fuck. And truly, I'm not one of those people. I did not like do the research and decide like, no, the vaccines aren't real. I just am lazy and didn't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, I'm just lazy and irresponsible. Uh, but I remember 
thinking that way and like pretty early on like posting that i'm like yeah i had like 13 friends that were to play board games mm -hmm. yeah and i would post it and like i remember my boss calling me and being like so what's the deal you're like you're spending a lot of you're just not worried about guy didn't even think about it i was just like oh right i should probably rein this in mm. and then you got sneaky and that was really fun yeah but yeah. be like oh when's the last time you were out and you had to start like doing the liars math and be like oh yeah i haven't done that i haven't been down here <laughs> yeah. since March? Little I'd secret parties March and gatherings. What's the recommended time? I've probably been like at least thirteen days. Since yeah. I've been. <laughs> well, oh, you guys weren't you guys weren't in the scene yet. Josh, you might remember this. I got before. Keep in mind, I'd only been doing comedy uh, l l less than a year when when COVID started. Mm -hmm. I got put on blast by, and this is before everybody moved here. So like, this was the scene. So like the. Some of the, the, the higher ups. Was this and when like, the news report came out? No, no, this is before that. Mm -hmm. so that's why is I got dinged twice. <laughs> so the old Austin scene, there's this Facebook group that I wasn't a part of. And this chick uh, named Amy had found out. So I got COVID. I was like one of the first people to get COVID. I was the first person that I knew to get COVID. So I got COVID in like June. Mm -hmm. And I we had done this Airbnb show for this Mexican family. They just It was just like me and Dave J and Dean just went and performed at an Airbnb. I, I did like 15 minutes. I'm sure it was terrible. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I found out I got COVID. I, and mm -hmm. I got really, like, I, I was sick. I had the flu for like two weeks. It sucked. Mm -hmm. um, and so I let people know. And then she found out. And then she made a Facebook post about me in this group saying, hey, I'm not going to say who it was, but there's a comedian who knowingly had COVID. I remember this still post. going out to, to do shows and to do mics. So if you guys have been out, I encourage you to. And she's an, like really annoying on Facebook about COVID and shit. And then this other dude who, you know, the San Antonio comic posted my picture and was like, hey, like I've done it. Jay was Jay. He's like, he's like, yeah, so I did some digging. It's like, you did some investigating. This, this dude's like an adult, like a proper, I mean, he's like in 45 uh -huh. and he posted my picture. And mm -hmm. then it just like blew up. And, uh, and I hit up Amy and I was like, this is not true. Like, these are mm -hmm. not facts. I, I got tested and I've been quarantining since uh -huh. and let people know. And then she was like, well, like I would, I would post, um, I would post a, a picture of your, of your test to show people. And I was like, fuck, no, I'm not doing that. Because here's the thing. Here's what happened is I, I, got, uh, I got tested. I got COVID. And then I had a, uh, I had a USO show. Uh -huh. I got booked to do a USO show That's right. in New Orleans. And I really wanted to do it, but it was 10 days away. And I tested positive for COVID. And back then, people were Two like... Weeks. It, two weeks minimum but people are arguing like that is not enough you gotta go with, <laughs> you gotta stay for this three is years. different from every disease yeah exactly mm -hmm. and so it had only been 10 days and i i went and did the gig i felt fine you know so i couldn't yeah, i wouldn't have posted my test results anyway because it's not your fucking business but i remember it was like a huge deal and i was like i'm i'm gonna have to move and then i was so happy when the whole austin scene like shifted Split, yeah. and so many people moved here and i was like oh these people don't matter but they did like the people I just at mentioned the time. did matter at the time, and now it's like, where the fuck you at? I uh, literally yeah. I don't even think about them outside. Who of the is story. you? Yeah, you the thing. And is, I'm cool with them now, but like that, it was. They I did remember me dirty. seeing those posts because, like, I didn't even live here. I was just on my way to visit here, so I was just in the groups to find like spots. Mm -hmm. And so I remember seeing that, and I was like, it was so interesting to me because everyone who respond like every single person that was responding to that because it got me worried because i was like escaping that kind of thought process in boston i was like oh i thought i was gonna go like move to a red state yeah and get away from this nonsense and uh and i i kept going out to the spots and the mics and the shows when i was visiting here in may of 21 and none no none of the people that were commenting were there no mm -hmm. one was out I, telling I, jokes exactly no one was telling yeah. jokes and yeah. i was like who the fuck I mean, who are you guys? Like, they got exactly what they and they're still not out. Yeah. And they're still not out. They're well, losers who wanted everyone else to be losers with yeah. them. That, that's that's, that's exactly all it right. was. Yeah. I do think, like, there's, there's some, like, I mean, some people are just, you have, listen, I'm an insurance guy. So you have what's called risk adverse. <laughs> when I tell you I'm an insurance adverse. guy, you will agree. <laughs> yeah, you will agree. All right? <laughs> so some people are just inherently more risk adverse than others, and they see something like this or, or really any. And I think those people tend to be like liberal, right? Mm -hmm. It's like I'm, I'm risk adverse. I just I want protection. I want security in, in wow. these areas, and especially in like the health arena. And then uh, I think there was a lot of people who just kind of let it justify like this is their perfect world where they're like, I didn't want to work. I didn't really want to do anything. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of guidance or structure in my life. 
this is perfect because what I get to do is take a backseat, not have to do anything. But then also blame Donald Trump for that. Yeah. It was like the perfect world for people. And it's like, why would you ever give that up if you're them? Yeah. yeah. If that's what's important to you, why would yeah. you give up that? And if power? ever if ever if no one exactly. if no one is uh if everybody is struggling, then the the disparity between struggle levels becomes smaller. Yeah, so and they don't feel as bad. They you're don't feel as bad right. when yeah. they don't see. And then they see you going out there and doing it, and they're like, "Oh, fuck yeah. this person for ruining what we had." Yeah. This game of losers. What picture did they use? Uh, it was you? like me. <laughs> my. It, it was, was him. It. He was like 18 years old, <laughs> backwards monster. <laughs> 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 like this in me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. In the it was me with a fake uh, Fendi monogram hat, <laughs> <laughs> leaning in a doorway. Uh, no, it was like my, it was. It was a picture from a flyer, and it was the picture that I used for the flyer was my LinkedIn photo. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say because you have resting mugshot face. That's true. You're just like you uh, look like you yeah. should be in a mugshot at all times. <laughs> no, so your I can see how they look like you. <laughs> no, your <laughs> default your default face is, looks upset. Yeah, yeah, I, I do know yeah. that. Yeah, I and so know. it looks like you just got popped. Yeah, so yeah. it's like I wouldn't be surprised. Like it look like you just look, you look like you're just like I don't want to be here. I know people always ask me that. They're always like, "What's wrong?" I was like, "I'm having a great time." That's how. I, well, I get that. I know that. Yeah. About we you. know yeah. that. Yeah. But the face just. I'll be honest. A lot of times I'm not having a great time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? You know. <laughs> mm. Yeah, your face just kind of looks like you, like they would have they would have a mugshot ready to go. Yeah, like a sex offender. No, okay, just, why, why we don't know offender? what it is. Oh, okay. Why a sex just... offender? How about a guy who like created a a, a a device to brainwash the populace when you tune into the TV? <laughs> why, can't, why can't that be what? Yeah, I'm you have you the Riddler genius? from yeah, Batman exactly, Forever. Yeah. Why can't I have a beacon that I put on my head and I control everyone's thoughts? Why do I have to be a sex offender? <laughs> would I use? Yeah, would I? Yes, would I brainwash men and women? In the single file line, coming into my home, naked. <laughs> naked. Also, sure. also, it's sex. I don't think it's that easy to offend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. Sex. I don't mean to. Listen, I'm gonna touch you. No sex offense, but I'm gonna touch you. <laughs> <laughs> no sex offense. No, none taken. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, <laughs> none taken. <laughs> Jerking off someone without asking. No, none taken. None taken. <laughs> um, <laughs> Miles, Miles went and did this joke that he told me outside of the mic last night and I gassed it up so much because I thought it was so funny. Like, and yeah, then he went and did it. And, it and then he went and did it and it blew <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, hard in front of a sold out crowd. But it was, he comes up to me for it. I, I'm going to pitch you guys both versions and you tell me which one sucks and which one's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, or if they both suck, keep it to yourself. Uh, so here's the first one. Uh, you, you guys want to, this is my impression of the, uh, of the first sex offender ever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooga booga. <laughs> Ooga booga. Ooga booga. All right. That's joke number one. Uh -huh. All right. Don't say anything. Um, joke number two. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, this is, a, this is a, a sex offender going around. Uh, knock, knock. Uh, yeah. Hello. Um, I'm sex offender and I. Oh, shoot. Let me start over. I'm Miles, and I'm a sex offender, <laughs> and I just, I'm new to the neighborhood. <laughs> the okay. second one. The second one. Yeah, yeah. I like the first one, but that's because he, he basically stole that joke from me. That's the <laughs> oh thing. Really? I, I, I don't even want to go into it too much and everything. Miles, is just, he's basically copied my whole thing. Okay. Go, go, no, go. <laughs> Ooga Over Booga? Here. Yeah. Everyone knows I'm the Ooga Booga comic. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that? Because I, I have a I have a Ooga Booga like joke. Ride dinosaurs. I have a joke. I don't even want to run it because it's not as good as Miles Ooga Booga joke that, he just, that you just told. Oh, me. Right you you know what you do? You look like you would be like a, a, a an airport mechanic in the Flintstones that's like working under a pterodactyl. Mm. <laughs> I like yeah. that. I like being involved in the airlines in yeah. any way possible in a pos <laughs> in a positive light. Yeah. I want to go and get I, you know you get free fucking flights and shit when you work at Delta or something mm. and I want to get a job at an airline so I can get free flights to do comedy but I don't want to work at all mm. like I don't want to show up and then when they try to fire me but oh what's up oh. why are you firing the Muslim guy from the airline oh. this is weird just play no, the race card just I get free flights I think, forever I don't think anyone has forgiven the Muslims though so I think everyone would be like yeah 
Yeah. You're fired. No, it's turning. Wow. It's, it's time so. that you it's have to turn. get them involved. You should. Uh, you couldn't work at Delta. You'd have to work at like Beta Airlines. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, here, oh, here at Beta. Oh, I'm so sorry. It was delayed. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. You can ride for free. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that would be the best. Is to fly, <laughs> fly Beta, <laughs> fly Beta. We're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? Fly beta. We're sorry. Oh. <laughs> I guess you can fly the plane. <laughs> <laughs> you can have first class. The planes always class. fly like this. Like they're kind of dancing <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> Vikram in the house. <laughs> hey, here at beta, all of our pilots are women. Oh, we're sorry. This is how I walk on an airplane every time. Like, you know, you're, you're coming in and it's first class. You got the two, you know, the two aisles, the two rows. And I just go. <laughs> All the way to my seat. <laughs> <laughs> I sit down. I go. Let's fucking do this, Let's huh? Go, Let's get airline. to Wisconsin. Woo! It's a it's a drink cart. Their beverage cart is just different types of milk. Do beta? No, alphas drink milk, dude. That's how you get strong. No, bones. no, no, no. But there's a like the, the alternative. Betas drink milk. 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 Um. Do you guys ever <laughs> clap on planes? No, those people suck. I like to do it, and then I used to, I like to do it me, like with a friend, and then we'll start the clap, and then right when we're about to do it, I'll stop. <laughs> and so they start the clap. That's so I just fun. get my friend to do to start the clap. That's the fun. I yeah. like to pretend I'm getting that so Raven type visions uh-huh. when I'm on planes. Uh-huh. So I'll be sitting there and I'll notice someone's looking at me and I'll go. <gasps> <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> and I'll pretend I just saw into the future. And they're oh. like, what just yeah. happened? And you're like, I oh, just farted. Just, you're, just fucking, yeah. fucking just. you're like, hey, uh, I can't tell you, but can we switch seats? Can I get the accent? Can I get the accent? Uh, yeah, people make fun of you if you like clap at the end of, uh, or like, at, like when a plane lands. There's like these dorky places mm-hmm. to clap. I do clap sometimes when the plane lands, um, but it's not because I'm excited that it landed. It's because uh, I really like the movie I just watched. <laughs> Whoa! Really everyone's just happened. Movie. You just fucking watched. <laughs> I'm clapping. Like, 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 hey, right. John Wick three, <laughs> Parabella. Everyone's like looking at you, and you're like, oh, no. Benjamin Buttons. Oh <laughs> you dork! <laughs> I'm not clapping because Chicago. I'm clapping because Chicago. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Airlines, we're sorry. It's a great musical. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, I only fuck with Hamilton pretty much. Yeah, uh, I'm not uh, like a musicals guy. High school musical? Hamilton, Hamilton, I, that's, so. I think that's a lot of us. I, I didn't think I liked musicals, although I will say the Mrs. Doubtfire mm-hmm. was a musical, and it was uh, it started at, uh, it debuted at Fifth Avenue Theater in Seattle in like 2019, mm. and I took my mom to it and my sister, and it, fuck, it's so good, dude. Really? It's so funny and so good and it was broadway bound so they were supposed to do the next season of broadway covid threw the whole thing off i don't know what they're doing now but it was like it was about to pop it was just it's about just to pop. fire the musical huh is phenomenal mm. uh, i'll so have to good. keep my eyes peeled next time they take it on the road yeah it was really really we should all go we're, have we're, you ever we're seen a musical? People. i've actually never been to a live musical or anything like that that yeah, sounds yeah. so fun i've never been to like a play or anything like yeah. that you would uh, like it though because your your movies have musicals in the middle exactly <laughs> our movies are only musicals yeah yes. yeah there are no move that's just tv if you want to make it in show business show business in india in hollywood bollywood yeah, bollywood you gotta sing you gotta yeah. dance but then they dub over everything anyway it's so strange what do you mean all of the audio is is pre-recorded and dubbed over. Like it's not ever live. They never they never filmed the audio live in Bollywood. Oh yeah, of course you got a fucking it's a it's fucking movie. They do it in the middle. No, right? No, to what? No other movie does this. Only Bollywood. does No, it. dude. Lots of movies that you even just dialogue that you're watching in the movie. It's they they do it. They act it out. And then they will re-say it into a mic to get yeah, better audio. Yeah, in another language. <laughs> That's what you're talking No, I'm not talking about dub. I'm talking about an English movie that you go and see in theaters. No. Brad Pitt will say his line on camera, and then later they'll do in post. He'll go back into a mic and say it into that a is, mic. That is facts, and I'll give you one yeah. really good example give me of an that. Example. I will give you one really good example, though, that uh, Kevin Hart in The Secret Life of Pets. So <laughs> <laughs> fuzzy is right. No, I'm telling you, that's true. <laughs> they did it in Logan. 
What? Where are you screaming, Logan? The uh, yeah. fucking I think Wolverine. Yeah. When they they will. It. They will do that. Sometimes. No, I think it's when it's when there's a serious challenge to capturing the audi- audio mm-hmm. in a shoot, mm-hmm. but yeah. almost always Agreed. it's through yeah. a boom or a lavalier. Agreed. It's like 99 percent of the time in Hollywood. The only time that it would be dubbed over is if they are trying to get some kind of specific scene where they haven't rented a space or closed down a block, so that you're in like a live real situation and it would be nearly impossible to filter out all the al- outside mm. sound and those kind of situ- situations they will or if there's actual difficulties with the audio and they only recognize that in post and say we got to go back we got to get that again and we're not going to refilm the shoot but bollywood it's 100 percent of the shoot they just don't even record the initial audio it's and i'm and i don't know why oh so you're saying the whole time mm-hmm. it's just over it's oh. always an overdub that's interesting maybe they just don't have the mic technology over there yet right. have you thought of that no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like the mic. I, I just, well, I just, I, uh, yeah, I don't know why. I remember looking into it and this, and the reason seemed bullshit. I think it's just uh, the way the culture is. It's like you, that's the type of thing they're used to hearing. Yeah. So if you switch it now, it's like, oh, what is going on? Yeah. Yeah. I how'd your, how'd your sketch go last night? It was, it was a long shoot. Six it, hour shoot. Glad I didn't come. It was not a six hour shoot. I got there at 530. I left at 11. That's what you were trying to invite me to? Well, the no, we only needed shoot? you there from like nine. What did I miss out on? What was I going to play? You were going to play a Jew. Wow. Named Arnold Greenbaum. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. It's a great, it's a good part, too. Are there mm-hmm. muscular, handsome Jews like me? <laughs> Would that have been believable? <laughs> yeah, Mark Spitz. You remember Mark Spitz? He's a two time gold medalist winning Jew. Um, <laughs> swimmer. <laughs> swimmer. That's correct. Who else are some? Buff he was the first Jews? one to get his medal and immediately cash it in. Le- <laughs> 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 he's like, he's like, hey, Mark this? Spitz gets his two gold Olympic medals and just goes, "Oh, thank you." Can I can I get this in small bills? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How funny would it be if they give it to him? He's like, "This is gold plated." <laughs> like, like has a jewelry. Like, <laughs> 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 uh, like, Liv Schreiber is a very fit muscular. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's a girl. No, Liv Schreiber no. plays uh, like the the other Wolverine. Wolverine's Ray, Ray, cousin. Ray, Why do we keep talking Ray. about Wolverine? Why does that keep coming up? I don't know. I don't know. Also, Logan is just a gay ass name for Wolverine. Name. Yeah. Logan is a gay name for Wolverine. Yeah, I'll watch sweet. Li- yeah, they should call him Logan Paul. <laughs> That'd be a cool name. <laughs> yeah, Logan Paul. Logan <laughs> Paul really is a modern day Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, so cool. he's a titan of industry. <laughs> Logan Paul should play. Lo- I would see that movie. Logan Paul is Wolverine. Logan Paul is Black Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> Logan Paul is Black Panther. <laughs> that would sell tickets, dude. <laughs> Man. Wait, what are they doing with the new Black Panther? She I know it's a hoe. It's a woman? She a bitch. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it's Octavia Spencer now. No, that's from yeah, the, the Queen King. No, that's the not, female. That's Viola Davis. What's it? Oh, oh, really? Doctor Otto. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 they're interchangeable. They oh, no. They're in all the same movies together. <laughs> oh, Octavia Spencer's up. the one with the bug eyes. I fucked up. <laughs> no, that's the mayor of Chicago. <laughs> 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 oh, oh no, fuck. dude! Octavia Spencer got pug eyes. <laughs> oh, I know who you're <laughs> yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's always playing like teachers and shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Octavia Spencer, dude. Octavia Spencer Cavins. Doctor Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Otto Octavia Spencer. That new Spider-Man was sick though when they brought uh that was Dr. Cool. Oh, I didn't see cool. it yet. Yeah. Fucking shut up. <laughs> I mean Andrew Just Garfield. A movie man. that came out nine months ago telling people not to spoil it for you. Stop yeah, it. Yeah, stop it. I told you about, about the time where I like beat a kid up for spoiling Harry Potter to me, right? Yeah, I think we talked oh, about that. I think it we talked about it. I, 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 uh, I splashed the kid in the f- I didn't beat him up. I just splashed water. In I his think face. we've talked about th- somehow we've talked about this in like the seven total episodes that no. we've done. <laughs> no, 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 no. You talked about fighting a kid and he busted up his jaw. Yep, mm-hmm. that was bad. and then you've and then the rest were like big uh, uh, party fights. I don't think you talked to us about how a kid. Well, basically, a kid was like, "Dude, can you believe this Gandalf's dead?" And I was like, uh, "Shut the fuck! Yeah. Are you serious?" Right? I was like, "You're fucking with me, right?" And he was like, "Um, no." Yeah, this was like on an arranged play date. Like, and then there was that video. I think we have talked about this because there was that video of that guy that was at Barnes and Nobles on the night of the release of the book, and there was a huge line, and he went 
and he drove that he did, he did a drive by yeah, past yeah. the full like line of 100 people like gandalf's dead gandalf <laughs> dies so at the end funny. just spoiled it for it was one of the first like viral videos That's so ever. mean and funny i yeah. think i think i i think i like i think i like jumped on top of the kid and i held him down like this he was much smaller than me <laughs> And I just slapped him around like that. I and he went, like Expecto this. Patronum. Like, yeah. <laughs> you tried to cast a spell on a little nerd ass. Expecto Patronum. A little nerd ass. And then next to his bed, <laughs> that spirit had... animal is just a fucking slug that comes out. <laughs> 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 just, just conjure it with all of your courage. It's like a slow loris. This is a maggot <laughs> writhing around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a slow <laughs> And so. It's uh, Octavia Spencer. I was. No, hold on a second. I was looking up. I was. I was Wikipedia some like random like B character actor from England just because I like love going on rabbit holes for Wikipedia for like random actors mm -hmm. that I like. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And uh, I, I, I found, so awesome that you I, do that. I, yeah. I, so I just like, enjoy that information. <laughs> and I found the guy. I found the guy because I was like, wow, this is a killer performance. Where's this guy been? I forgot about this dude. And it was like this guy died in 2006. <laughs> From complications from a slow loris bite. Oh. <laughs> no. Tom Hardy did that? <laughs> I was like, Tom Hardy died I didn't from a slow know loris you bite? could die from like these little, like, yeah. they're like little fucking chip bugs. How did dude. it catch you? No idea. I tried to investigate as, <laughs> as much as I could, but the fact that that statement was there on its own, there's no follow up. It wasn't like on March 16th, 2006, he got bit by the slow, slow loris. Condition worsened. Like he was misdiagnosed. Like it was just like, a slow loris bit him and he died. And I was like, that's crazy. Like, What's a slow loris? A little cute guy. You know what? This would be good for that. Here, I'll pull it up for you. You guys talk about something else. Josh did try and we said, no, we don't need yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe we should. I'm really a vid I work best slow, off of visuals. Slow lorises are a... That's, it's like that. That fuckers. killed him. Oh, it's like a little spider monkey. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well. That's a slow loris. Oh, no, sorry. A sugar glider. Sugar glider. It is yeah, like a that's... sugar glider. Yeah. There it is. You got it. <laughs> I don't yeah, know it's so spot. I don't even know what a spider monkey every is. Every camera. <laughs> Look at those. Uh, the sugar gliders, I there was a girl named Hannah that had sugar gliders in high school. She's a good friend of mine, and her mm -hmm. sugar gliders had babies, and then it ate all the kids. Oh, sick. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, it ate all the babies. We had, a, we had a rabbit that did that, dude. We had these two rabbits that would sit in a cage out in the cold. I didn't. They weren't mine. I wasn't supposed to look after them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys all had siblings, right? So No. Yeah, you do. You have a sister. I have. You have a fat sister. I, yeah, I've got two siblings that. <laughs> so I you got three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. One for each titty, but we—I have a half brother and a half sister. But I was ten when they were born. Okay, okay. So that I did okay. not grow up. Well, with you still might have had this, and like we had, there was certain like it was specific to rodents and fish. But you would have a pet that specifically, it's like that's fucking not my pet. That's her pet. Yeah, yeah. Like, and that was only uh, dogs and cats. That's for the squad. That's a family pet. Rodents and fish, maybe a bird. Although if you had a bird, you're really your priorities are out of order. Yeah, good if you call. You have a bird, you're prior. You're you're you need head meds. Mm -hmm. You're out of your tree. Mm -hmm. But then there was like fish and rodents, and you would have that in your room. I had a I had a hamster that I named after the DJ from Lincoln Park. Remember him, <laughs> Mr. Han. <laughs> No. Yeah, this hamster. I never cleaned its cage. It starts and with one hamster. I don't, don't know, know why. why. He got so many tumors and died. <laughs> also, we would put him in a plastic ball and let our cat swat at him. All <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, I never cleaned his cage. It stunk. My room's just, you know, if you had a rodent, like your room just smelled Crawling like Crawling in my room, no. <laughs> my <laughs> hamster's on a wheel. <laughs> <All right. laughs> nice. What you got, Josh? Hermit crabs. They stink up your room. Mm. You had hermit crabs? I had hermit crabs to prove that I could handle a dog. That, mm. that, but it doesn't. And my brother thing? killed the hermit crabs. Mm. Uh -huh. I can't prove it, but I was feeding them <laughs> and giving them water, and he wanted a cat. And so we ended up getting a cat. Oh, smart Wait, move. You could yeah. only have one, the one? You could only have a dog you or a cat. We already had a dog, so mm -hmm. I said two dogs. Oh. And he said, no, let's get a cat. And so we ended up getting a cat. I know you had a gay brother, dude. That's yeah, funny. what the hell? That's funny when you bring that up. but uh, Is he? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, the cat. The cat. You know, I love cats. But uh, really? so... So I had this... Uh, anyway, the, yeah, this hamster really did. He got... My mom loved it, but he got riddled with the tumors and died <laughs> and then we just you know you just they're different pets like you just you dump you throw you you throw you just flush it down the toilet the whole hamster and then my 
my sister had these two rabbits, so I never took any care of them because, again, it's like those are your pets. So there's this weird thing of like I didn't even, bury even the pet hamster. or play with them, and I loved animals. <laughs> but I'm like, bury- these are fucking her pets. I'm never gonna play with them. And I went out there once to just see how they were doing because I swear no one had mentioned these rabbits for like three months and i was like there's no way they're still alive they're just in a cage it's cold at seattle and i go and check and in the five minutes i was there the male rabbit must have attempt attempted rape on the female rabbit (laughs) 11 times i mean that's all they did and she just keeps trying to run around this tiny cage and then eventually she had babies and ate them oh that's where we're going babies and speaking of which man we were shooting the sketch yesterday our producer director Editor, essentially the fourth member Chicken Scorsese. of TV sketch show, Nick Barr. Oh. Uh, ch- <laughs> Chicken Scorsese. <laughs> I like it. Keep going. It's like if you were in Bojack Horseman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it would be Chicken Scorsese. Spider Tarantino. <laughs> <laughs> it's already. So he he has this female dog named Lola, and then Kat and Casey brought their dog over, Archie, a male. Lola... This female dog would not stop humping Archie, dude. She yeah. was raping this male. Yeah. She was fully cucking this male dog Dominant. over and over and over again. And Archie truly was backing his sweet little ass up. <laughs> he liked it. He really he like, liked yeah. it. <laughs> and everyone was like trying to break it up. And I was like, well, it's literally harmless fun. It's two yeah. consenting yeah, adult do dogs. She's going to bust a female nut up his butt. Yeah. <laughs> like, it would be so gross to watch a female dog come. No, he might. She might squirt in his butthole and get her high. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I had a question uh, for you about your hamster. What was it, Mr. Han? Mr. Han. So you you guys flushed him down the toilet. Yeah, I, I mean, I snapped him in half first, the small pieces. You do small <laughs> chunks. It's just so funny to think, like, you were just like, oh, you just, like just not like a proper burial. You're just like, oh, here you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just fucking so nonchalantly like, just drop him in the it's toilet. It's okay to do a fish, but it's like, why, can't, why not a snake? <laughs> why can't I flush a snake? It's just like a long poop. You yeah, know. yeah. You guys have to get the the pipes fixed. The plumber's like, "What have you guys been eating?" Dude? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you cut your hamster in half. I snapped it with my hands, like a like it was a like a retard. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was actually, I'll be honest. I made up the tumors. I broke it. I broke my, my hands. Oh, he was alive when you snapped no, him. No, we buried. He died of tumors. You and, we buried him and then he outside. just oh, okay. We buried him outside, <laughs> and we've been. We put a little blue cross. Oh, you there. did. Oh, I thought you actually flushed him. No, I think that's no, no, so no. funny. <laughs> just nonchalantly just flush your hands. You you of mice and men to your hands. I broke I had a. Uh, parakeets. We had two parakeets. Really? One was yellow. Name was. Whose decision was that in the family? My pa- my mom's. I'm assuming they liked birds a lot. His parakeets. Um, <laughs> so I had these two parakeets. No, that he is one of his parents' kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it was Zazu and Polly. It was yellow. Was Polly blue with Zazu for the Lion King? Okay, we already named one Polly. <laughs> Let's go a little crazy for the next one. Zazu! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? Zazu is the uh, the blue. Oh, Zazu. Zazu. Oh, and yeah. the motherfucking Lion, Lion King. King. And yeah. Polly is just uh, an infamous yellow bird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's okay. It was still funny. And uh, my one, my mom would always like clean their cage, but open it up. Yeah, Josh, you look at yeah, yeah, can, can, can you put the close <laughs> You up? literally have a can booger hanging in, out of your left nostril right now. Can you right zoom now. it in, though? I can't. Every pot. Fuzz, we talked about it. They're not up. funny. They're not funny. <laughs> I stay booged up. Can you stop doing it? <laughs> we all got it at the same yeah. time. Except I see it. Josh on a swivel looking for... <laughs> Okay, what's wrong? <laughs> you have boogers. You have Who a- cares? Be adults, professionals. Where is George these- Bush had a fucking... A uh, huge ass fucking booger on his nose. At one time, he was giving a speech, and he just kept power through it. That's a man. So yeah, but Z- but George Bush doesn't have someone get, get like it for Z- him. No, no, no. Card. He's hands free right now. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh yikes! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yikes! That was a big one. So foul. Anyway. So okay. basically, my mom would clean their the bird's cage, and uh, one time Zazu uh, ran away. He couldn't fly, so he he hopped out and he ran away down the block. And Did you guys we, find him? Nope. So he Sad. ran away. He he, probably, was he hopping or was he running like two legs, like sprinting? <laughs> he's like two legs sprinting. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like an idiot. He was like, he was like fucking, wings. he looked like a fucking running back in the NFL going down that cul-de-sac. Wow. So I always thought it was bur- funny that I had a, a bird that ran away. He didn't fly away. Yeah. 
And that is Polly, really funny, yeah. And then it Polly is. just died. She croaked eventually. So he, where was she cleaning? Like, he had to run through your house? Did he, like, go downstairs? My mom would and... clean it on the front porch. Oh, he was And outside. she would always just, like, leave the fucking cage open. And one day he just fucking hopped out and he was gone. Yeah. And then he definitely got eaten by, like, a squirrel or something. Probably not a squirrel. Some right. got his I ass. Had maybe. A maybe. maybe a squirrel. Well, I a had hog. a guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a hawk. I thought you said a hog. A hog. Yeah. Well, we <laughs> lived in a fucking <laughs> place just riddled with hogs. I had a, uh, <laughs> I had a guinea pig uh, that I begged my mom to get me, mm. and I wanted a dog so bad. And then I got this <laughs> guinea pig, and then I came home from camp, and a couple months went by, and I was like, Where's the, where's the guinea pig? And I was like, Mom, where's the guinea pig? And she's like, We gave it away. And I started crying. Mm -hmm. And she she straight up aced me. She goes, It's been two months since you've been back. <laughs> oh, really? And you haven't noticed your fucking <laughs> guinea pig being gone? You can't get upset with me yeah. for giving it away. Yeah. You didn't do shit with it, this and that. And I was like, Yeah. <laughs> Is there, so I didn't have any like response. They're just boring. Though. Like, the the comparison like josh having hermit crabs to prove that he can take care of and love a dog is crazy because they're just it's not the same like the reward isn't the same so it's like i would i would clean the dog stuff i'm not going to clean the hamster cage because it doesn't do they shit. should give you a baby and it doesn't like me the hamster's mm. scared of me i don't think because i, I put it been. in a plastic ball yeah. and i let all three of our massive cats <laughs> swat at him and so he hates me also yeah. i named him mr han he hates me yeah. you tortured him yeah you're basically like his slave master i don't think i'd be i don't think i'd be ready for my dog until now like we got a great yeah. great dog but i don't think i i think we got him at the right time i think i'm just enough of an adult to have one and i think any time before it would have been a train wreck if i got a dog and he would have either been a shitty dog or like i'd have to give him away or something like it would just be a mess right had i a dog right and you're of course referring to your dog theo vaughn <laughs> My dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You named your dog Theo. You named your dog. Yeah. You named your dog one of the only comedian names that isn't brutally cringy. Yeah. I, I named my dog, for those of you who don't know, um, I named my dog Kyle Donegan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is my dog Rory Scovel. Yeah. This is Carrot Top. That's a good name for a dog. This, yeah. is, this is my dog, the Sklar Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like when brothers do comedy together. I, 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 so the I watched twins? them for yeah, six I don't. minutes, and literally, you know when you go to the comedy store, you're, you're there, and it's like hours of comedy. So when you buy that ticket, you can camp there and see so many great shows. I saw Burr and like Jimmy Carr, and there's a bunch of people on the same, Christina P on the same lineup. The Star Brothers came up, and I watched six minutes, and I was like, you guys ready to leave the show now? Like, <laughs> yeah. I hated it. I heard the I heard the Lucas twins are pretty well respected within the scene. Yeah, I just I, I listen. I don't like twins. I think that uh, I think that the Nazi scientists had it right. Yeah, twins yeah. are an abomination. Yeah, they're weird. Wait, they're were, for experiments. Were they killing twins? Like you would only yeah, keep the, one. Yeah, the Mangala stuff. Yeah, Mangala. He would he would just experiment on them. Like just good stuff to know. Like if I put a cattle prod in this one's temporal lobe, will the other one dance? You know, shit yeah. like mm -hmm. that. Speaking of which, one of the best Norm bits ever was the was the uh, when he references Mangala. What does he say? When he's talking about Hitler's dog. Because I'm working on a Mangala bit. Oh, really? Well, yeah. it's probably not the same, but it's about Hitler's dog. and It's, it's probably the, the same we think alike. It's the proof that, <laughs> it's the proof that humans are not capable of unconditional love, but dogs are, uh -huh. because Hitler had a dog. You know oh, I mean? Hitler's yeah. off being, saying he's running around, whatever the compound and he sees Goebbels and he's like Goebbels Goebbels where's Hitler I need Hitler and Goebbels like he's off being an evil tyrant he doesn't have time for you and you're like ah oh, you don't understand and he runs over he sees Mangala and he's like Mangala Mangala please I need to see Hitler he's like he's off commanding the Third Reich he doesn't have time for you he's like Mangala you don't get it you're great and Goebbels you know I love you but Hitler is the greatest man <laughs> who's ever lived. <laughs> and it's just like, That's that is cute. what the dog would do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because the dog cute. doesn't know he killed six yeah, million people. Yeah, it's just a dog. And yeah. even if he did, anyone care, it's a dog. And, he, mm. and you know Hitler's like, <laughs> with his yeah. dog. He's like, yeah. Probably teaching his dog good tricks. Yeah. You know? I love I love that. That's really how people are. You think they, Hitler I mean, would like, be, a, you think Hitler yeah. settled with his dog, like, oh, shake, and he goes like this. No, is that arm's out. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. paw is out. It's in a full side kale. None sure. of that little, oh, shake, paw. Well, that's like no, Sopranos. That's like the whole, that is like the crux of Sopranos, that he, the human condition, where like he's able to be so soft and delicate with animals specifically, mm -hmm. and it's just not able to apply that same love principle to humans. 
Right. He's just not capable of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel like a lot of guys like like me, like Delta Force types, are just like, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> like also, guys, before we go on, can we get a quick hoorah? Hoorah. 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 Right. hoorah, hoorah. Yeah, but troops. I think I think that's pretty common for like guys like me who are like from the mud. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> get it out the gutter. Real, real frog brigade shit. Yeah, yeah you know, <laughs> from the dirt, and that's something you guys. You're from where? where? Wisconsin. Wisconsin, pretty good neighborhood. Yeah, Yo, no, let's be honest. My, Fuzzy yeah. is from the mud. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, Fuzzy in the sand. I'm from the sand. <laughs> I'm from that wet. I'm from that, wet, I'm from that wet sand. Water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dog, I got it out the fucking coral reef. I don't know. You know what I've been saying for no reason? <laughs> this is off track. We can return to what we're talking about. But for no reason, I've been saying this ever. I've been saying this to Tara. I've been saying this at Mike's in between acts when I'm hosting. I'll be go. I'll go. Yeah, yeah. We on some New York shit. Yeah, come on. People oh, actually. Come on. People come up to me all the time and go, "You're oh, I thought you were from New York." You know, when I will have a conversation about, like, where I'm from. or so, people, and, all, and awesome people do that? It, a you, lot. You know why? Be, because they think you're Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, wait, are you not Dominican and from New York? And you're like, no, I'm... No, that's I got that vibe, dude. I got yeah. that fucking no. Empire State it's of Mind vibe. Because they've never seen somebody not white who's not from New York. <laughs> that's their dumb. No, yeah, I'm just no, freaking New York fucking no, hustler, dude. I got do. that hustler vibe you got real like selling loose cigarettes at the corner vibe <laughs> you know i will tell you this so fuzzy played this character last night in the sketch called vikram and he's this like no way hype de- <laughs> how'd you do that <laughs> but they we made we made so first of all can you take the hat off because fuzzy has an amazing haircut right now i don't know why he's not showing it off Let if i were it. you right now with your haircut i would not wear any hat oh like you, it looks so good this is uh I almost buzzed it all the way down. No, this that's is the nice. Lo- this is the lowest I've ever gone on top. Yeah. And uh, I was just nervous about the shape of my head. And I'm like, now, no, I'm, good. now I'm confident. I, I, next time I'm just going to buzz it Dude. all the way down. No, I, no, this I, is your I disagree. You know what's funny? This length of hair makes you look less bald. I know. Yeah. It's crazy. Don't go but, further. But it's what's crazy. It's the in, like it's thinner. Like you can see how yes, fucking. But, and it, like it, but it looks like the, the shaping of it. Yeah. yeah. It looks like it's supposed to be. I think when you have long hair I, and it's I thinning, like it. when you have long hair and it's thinning, it looks like you don't know that it is. Dude, if I lose 30 pounds, I'm going to be kind of hot with this haircut. Right. And mm-hmm. you'll never do that. But no, I will. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Would, we, I mean, would you, look, would you look better if you dropped a few pounds? Of course. But, uh, you know, you're not going to do that. <laughs> Fuck you, hey, dude. Hey, and I want a gold toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing the weight now. You guys fucking. You guys just inspired. Dude, if you, if I you needed this. Lost weight, it's good. <laughs> I needed this. I'm breaking keto I needed today. the motivation. I think you look. I like. I like where you're at. You're like our Rick Ross. Yeah. <laughs> you're like our DJ Khaled. Yeah. Dude. I'm the. You, I'm you the look DJ ready Khaled. to get lost on a jet ski right now. <laughs> <laughs> dude, do a DJ Khaled thing for us. Another one. No, but more, more than that. That's obvious. That's just your it impression of yourself. It breaks my fucking heart. Day. It breaks my fucking heart. That there are people in the room who didn't believe in us. No, 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 no. Like, for real, they didn't believe in us. Yeah. But God did. Yeah. <laughs> I like, you ever watch videos of DJ Khaled and how uncomfortable he makes people when he, like, plays any beat that he made? Mm-hmm. He plays a beat that he made, and then it's always just a clip of, like, it'll just be, like, Jay-Z, like, sitting there listening to it, and the beat's going, and DJ Khaled's just like... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just being fat. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I don't think he actually does any of the music production or anything like no, that. No, he does. No, I don't. I think it's all a, it's all a marketing ploy. No. Oh, we really? Let me it. guess. You think that somebody goes and dubs over, we the best. You think someone's <laughs> dubbing that? <laughs> Maybe. That's the thing, actually. When you see DJ Khaled saying we the best, they're not even recording the audio then. They do it after. <laughs> in, <laughs> in post. post. <laughs> in post, they go over it. That's actually that's true. Why sometimes you'll see it. It'll be like, we the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But. I'm telling you, that's how show business works. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> that's my Arab way. show business. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I got this haircut. What were we saying? Well, really we're, we always talking about. You should have seen him. Like we put a fake Rolex on him. He like like a really hype tee that I brought for him to wear, and he had like a cool. He looked so cool. He looked like he was ready for bottle service, mm-hmm. and he was playing this character that was like locked in, and it was. First of all, it was unbelievable. I can't wait for the sketch to come out. It, he was so funny in it. It's yeah. crazy. I'm getting good. Nice. Yeah, I'm yeah. learning how to get into a character. Yeah, yeah we're all getting yeah. nice. I was well, fucking... You, you learned how to really get into the character. I was by far the worst actor when yeah. we started, mm-hmm. and I'm still probably the worst out of the three, I would say. Uh, Nat and Nick are mm-hmm. much better than me, but I'm getting there, and I'm learning how to Last get into a character. Crazy, yeah. I'm learning how to sell it, 
Yeah, yeah it's soon, mm-hmm. soon enough. He's a show stealer. TV sketch show. I believe in you. Yo, Z, check out TV sketch show. Don't do it. Well, episodes are dropping soon, but you can just follow us on Instagram, TV sketch show. Sick. I'd, I'd wait until um, I'm involved in that project. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm not really involved in that project. So. I, I think we're going to win a Webby. I, I think not, we're hey, going to win a Webby. Not if I'm not involved in that project. Yeah, yeah. What's a Webby? You know? That's like the YouTube um, Emmys. Mm, I think Slam mm. Time Live Episode 7 is going to win a Webby. Yeah. Is that the one with Dean? Yeah. Oh, dude, I'd be so sad. He was kind of a force of nature. Oh, really? Yeah. He kind of came in here yeah. unstoppable. You know what's funny? Well, how are you going to have a bad podcast when the first line is, what's this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Josh, you can hear this? <laughs> Wait a minute, how? He's like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Bro. Hello. The, the, the <laughs> <laughs> this is, this was so funny because Dean is I love Dean but I mean he is an idiot like <laughs> he just got a computer he's never had one and it's been in the box like a new nice MacBook Pro he's had it for over a month and he hasn't taken out of the box he's like I, I, I don't know what to do with man you got to show me I'm like I'm not giving you computer lessons <laughs> like the school system failed you were supposed to learn this like, they teach I that it. shit at like the unemployment office yeah you can, that's, like, go that's, and that's that where class. he needs to go you know awesome. um, but anyways so one time it, it was it was barrels packed packed night right mm-hmm. to the rafters dude. and we uh ben smith and i were gonna like film our sets mm-hmm. which is it's just a funny thing dean's one of those guys where it's like we never film our sets him or i mm-hmm. and then but then he saw that ben was setting up he's like he's like wait are you guys filming your sets and he goes oh shit i'm gonna film my set too it's like all right you know yeah, he, he, just, he, dude, he, yeah. he no one that wants to be left out less than dean allen huge yeah. fomo so dude, it's, I, no you guys it's, it's so funny so my he bad. he's he, he's going I'm up. sorry that is my bad <laughs> he's going up next he's going up next and you know he has to go off to the side because you guys know how barrels a real like wide long mm-hmm. room so you know it's it's dark and we I see him like cross over to, <laughs> to the other side of the, of the room and I'm watching the set and then all of a sudden I just see I see like a big light go on like the flash on a camera but then can tell that it's like falling down because it's just shining all over the place. And just see Dean just wrestling, <laughs> just like the tripod <laughs> fell apart. <laughs> it's like, look over, you're expecting him to come out just like somehow wrapped in wires, <laughs> even though he's just using a phone. <laughs> just the funniest <laughs> shit. Just so confused by like setting up a tripod, so disruptive to the show. So I, uh, the first time I went out to do spots in Houston, I took Dean out. I believe it was our, I believe it was both of our first times doing Secret. He was on one thing, and then we got him some guest spots. But it was fun. We were all doing a bunch of spots at Secret and the Riot. It was really mm-hmm. good. It was a fun weekend. And uh, I might have done it once before. But regardless, um, I brought him out there. We drive out. I'm driving out. Uh, I go like I go to see what the crowd's like. And I was like, oh, it's a good crowd. I'll go get my t- tripod or whatever. And I opened my trunk, and there was just, like, three guns in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's so many guns. And I was like... I don't think these are my guns because yeah. I don't have one. Right, I don't own, <laughs> I was like, I don't own an M1 carbine. Yeah, right. and, I, and I was World like, and I was like, hey, there's like a few like gats in my yeah. car, <laughs> yeah. and he was like, oh yeah, I've been meaning to tell you that, buddy. Oh yeah, I got a couple gats. Yeah, <laughs> he carries guns. One time, his uh, he, he came to my girlfriend's for a Halloween party, and this is when she was uh, we weren't living together. She was living with her roommate, and his uh, his window, the motor broke so we couldn't roll his window back up so then he was just like yeah can, can you help me like carry my shotguns and rifles <laughs> into the park? so we just come in like arms full i mean he's ready to go to war mm-hmm. but it's not even like he's not a prepper nothing like that it's just that he owns guns and is just forgetful he's like so ah, i forgot out all these rifles in here so fun. <laughs> he's just a heck is really what it is yeah and it was just uh and then his ex like he i he was I would say not as apologetic as one would be when you didn't let someone know that like they have. <laughs> no, gun. yeah, it's normal. Man. But I also have to factor in that it's like completely legal and there's no drugs in the car. There's yes. never ever any drugs Correct. in my car. Correct. So, mm-hmm. uh, so that's wouldn't actually, have stopped them if there were. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think he's posted this, so I don't mean to. I don't think I'm like burning or talking about anyone's shit. But Isan has that fantastic bit mm-hmm. about. How he's like unsafe with weed since he's moved to Texas from California, but the trick is I hide it one place a cop would never look in Texas in my gun. And he's yeah. like, I just yeah. hide it right in. Hiding good. weed in a gun is such a good. Mm-hmm. Anyway, point of the story is he was like, 
he was like, oh, I'm sorry I didn't tell you that, man. Like, because in Massachusetts, it's like near impossible to get a gun license in the city of right. Boston. You right. have to pretty much prove that you're in direct danger and need one. Mm. And it's very hard to prove. And in Texas, it's incredibly easy. So he, I felt was not apologetic enough for like having guns in my car. But then I understood he was like, he was like, you, he was like a good rule of thumb here is to just assume everyone's packing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay. It's, you know, it's a culture shock. Like it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And I'm not anti-gun. I like guns. But right. when my dad was teaching me to drive, uh, he always told me to assume that there's a car. There's always a car in front of you, to the top right of yeah. you, right to your sure right, right back in your blind spot, right behind you. Just assume that you're surrounded by six cars at all times. And I'll tell you, that's a paranoid way to learn how to drive. Yeah, yeah. To be like, and, <laughs> oh, shit. so scared. And he's like, and at any time. They could all just. <laughs> 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 he's, he's telling he's telling Fuzzy to always assume that there's a an '83 white Isuzu to oh your my right, God. your left, in front of you, <laughs> behind you. Yeah, and did you tell your dad? Did you say, "Well, you know, Dad, you know what they say about assuming it makes an ass out of you and me." Mm -hmm. And oh, our Korean it. friend, you Ng. Guys, you guys, <laughs> dude, right, Ng? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's bananas that they let 16-year-olds drive. Yeah, Just being 16-year-olds yeah, on the highway going 80 miles per hour, you just learned how to drive. You're surrounded yeah. by semi-trucks. I, fucking, I, I, uh, you shouldn't be that hot and allowed to drive. Yeah. I, to I totaled. My, <laughs> I totaled that right. My, uh, <laughs> shouldn't be that ripe. I told my first car. <laughs> Bro, you shouldn't be that DTF and driving. It's yeah. distracting. Driving while fresh. You shouldn't um, be that totally legal in two states. And uh, <laughs> which two states? I hope, I hope this one. Nebraska. Yeah, no. Spencer's Arkansas. like, Horrible. Spencer's Horrible. like I don't know Nebraska, Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Probably Nebraska and Arkansas as of 1993. I was just kind of throwing a dart with my eyes closed, but Nebraska and Arkansas probably. Um, Josh, uh, you're not recording this, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, yeah. But honestly, if you can't legally fuck, you shouldn't be able to leave, shouldn't be able to drive. Right. So you're saying just raise the, raise or lower it all. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's I uh, exactly what I'm saying. I totaled my first car when I was 18, and I just think about how I drive drove back then. I totaled it because I I took a bong rip that was so fat that I passed out. Yeah, <laughs> I literally was like, <sighs> <laughs> I just woke up totaling like my car wow. in a tree. Yeah, yeah, it was so bad. But dude, that is that not reminds very me of the of friendly. the story that I wanted to tell you guys yeah. of. Wait, real quick, can I say something? Yeah, real yeah, quick yeah. You. Uh, you, you're, you're telling me that I can I can drive a car? I can drive a car 60 miles per hour, but I can't get titty fucked by my teacher? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're telling me? <laughs> you're telling me I can work a job as a hostess and I can drive a car, but I can't get fucked by my English teacher? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's crazy. America? Anyway. Crazy times. <laughs> um, no, so I was just reminiscing. I was just thinking about this quite a bit about so i was oh i was always so corny i loved drugs and alcohol so much especially when i was first getting started i was like the weed kid in my school and me we, we would always do stuff like we'd plan how much we smoked we'd make events out of it we'd be like we're gonna smoke an eighth over the weekend but dude me and my boy trevor temple tt tt i'll never forget this man <laughs> So we would smoke on the there, I lived in this two family home and it was me on the top, me and my mom and my sister, and then this kid Josh Ben and his stepdad and his mom that below us. And we were friends. We went to high school together. And there was a stairway that connected us, and that's where everyone smoked weed. There's a stairwell that connected mm -hmm. the two of us. Just me and this kid Trevor Temple, and we loved this song. Finally, the herb come around by Kali Butts. And if you don't know, it's like this like big bassy reggae tune that's just sucks, all about like sucks. weed season coming yeah. back. It's like finally the herb come around, and then it's just all about smoking weed by this like white Bermudan reggae dude. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think he's Jewish in real life, and <laughs> we would take videos on Razor flip phones, right? Of us packing up bowls while the while the music's getting started and the dude's like doing hype beat, he'd be like, get I and we'd be like 
Like, <laughs> 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 hey, Roger that. Right? Mm-hmm. And we would take these big milky bong rips as the beat drop. Yeah. And it would go, finally, the herb come around. And me and my boy would be like, uh. <laughs> 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 Those are so embarrassing. And then we would watch it and we'd be like, oh, oh yeah. Dude, like, this is sick. And you couldn't, you didn't even have any outlet for that kind of video. <laughs> it's just right. for now, you. God. Now you would be famous on TikTok if You'd you were doing huge. shit like that. God, I would have been so famous. Had TikTok been around when I was fucking young, I was crushing, you, you, dude. You I, used to make, I used to make funny little Snapchats and videos and all of that. You would have popped, but you would have popped the way that, uh, um, Who's that little uh, the 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 like midget kid that's related to Khabib Nurmagomedo? Uh, Hezbollah. Is he related to? No, him? but they're always hanging out. Try uh, that picture. Ha- man Hez- Hezbollah. Yeah, I'd be like him. He's the leader of Hezbollah. That other kid is got... Hezbollah like a terrorist cell. No, his name is Hezbollah. Yeah, but that's also a, the name of a terrorist cell. Anyway, I feel like you'd be famous in that way, where because you would have been like like oh he's so cute like very yeah. pinch his cheeks cute. And then you would have wanted to rebrand now, and you'd be like, no, I play like guys like Vikram, and like, yeah. I'm different. You're right. It you all know? happens for a reason. Yeah. And you'd be, you'd be pigeonholed. Reason. My girlfriend went and saw Allie and AJ at ACL this weekend. Remember those she girls? She went to yeah. 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 I mean, among many others. They didn't yeah. just go check out. The, but they went to that stage, and everybody was bummed because Allie and AJ wouldn't play any of the hits from when they were like Disney stars because they're trying to, you know, they want to be serious artists, and I they're playing just this, like huh? shitty acoustic. <laughs> <laughs> I should tell you. Dude, that's still on my face. Jersey. Wait, whose who's jersey is that? 36. No, like Garrett I think Blunt. that was a Brewski jer- jersey. Mm, no, 36. 36 on the Leroy oh off of the Leroy Patriots. Jenkins from World of Warcraft. This is in 2010. Uh, Lawyer Malloy? It might have been Lawyer Malloy, dude. God, oh I'm fucking God, good, dude. dude. That's insane. You look like such a piece of I was, shit. Dude. I was selling swag weed, really expensive. God, oh here, I'll, no, I'll find God, better ones for you. Don't. Dude. That's in Israel. That picture was there. Here, show the camera. They let you in Israel. <laughs> let me show. No, I'll, <laughs> no let me dude, show you the you one with the weed. You have never looked more Jewish. Isn't that crazy? I mean. I was getting trimmed back then, too. Were you? Yeah. You How old were you getting trimmed? Now. Keep the weight on. I, I think I lost my virginity at 13. Damn. Yeah. Fuck. I, want, I wanted to 14. so bad back then. All dude. my friends were fucking. I was like, fuck. I just got an email, <laughs> and this is a, this is a typo. From a from a client. From You're saying this isn't cool. <laughs> you guys are saying that this isn't cool. You have a bad tattoo on your ribs. That's cool. What's the tattoo on your ribs, Matt? Where the wild things are. <laughs> what else? That's me up there. <laughs> I'm the little boy. Bro, you're like a Yakuza sumo wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> you just got weird, like, full pieces <laughs> on your belly. Hold on, I'll find. Wait, you're saying? Wait, you're saying that this? I was 14. You're saying that this isn't cool? Really? Oh my! Yeah, that's my speed. Though. I would have taken photos. Like Lucky that. brand boxers. Those Lucky were expensive brand, back yeah. then. More yeah, that's guy. my speedo. You don't have any boogers. You're good. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to talk about your trip to. Uh, uh, we'll have to do that next time. We don't got time. We'll talk about Morocco. What, what are we at right fucking now? Weird places. Uh, an hour two. Hour two. Yeah. Well, 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 I'll catch you guys up on Morocco next time. Look, that's right. me and me and Tyler Large. We were fourteen. You knew Tyler at fourteen. We went to high school together. Well. I always, I always mm, thought there was a similarity mm, mm, there. Mm, 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 Isn't that crazy? We were so chill. A couple of fuck ups. But a uh, couple of classic fuck ups. Okay, well, I'll give you guys a hint. Well, I'll give you guys Tyler. a real quick thing. So this is me unironically smoking a what's it called? Black and mild with the filter. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this yeah. is me smoking a black and mild. Yeah. What fast food chain is this in front of? Is it a Five Guys? No. Well, hold on. Let me let me see it and I'll tell you. I'm guessing. This was in Waltham, Massachusetts. Very Puerto Rican. Are, uh, are you in front of a White Castle? No. Let me see. Okay. Uh, it's okay. Just hold it out. That's a Wendy's. Close, but no. Burger King? Correct. Yeah. That was a Correct. weird piece he of He was smoking a black and mild in front of Burger King? Mm-hmm. And, and, and look at you now. And yeah. I bet you thought you looked so cool and handsome in this photo. Well, you know, well, because I'm, I'm sure, I don't know for sure, but I'm going to assume that at one point I was like, yo, take a picture. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you probably did. You know what's funny? Because this used to be the look when I look at you as. So I'm sure you have this with me too, but it's like it's hard for me to imagine you as a junkie because I only yeah, know yeah. you like this. So it's like I don't. What did you look like? Because I know it was that you weren't yeah. the same guy. In the the tell 
is in addition to just like the cringy, horrible photos uh-huh. and the bad style and the red eyes uh-huh. and stuff, sideburns. Yeah, <laughs> it was such a. And I don't. Was it a junky thing or was it a? Uh, was that just the time? Did everyone have sideburns? I, I think it was the time. I would assume. I think all every, of my think, drug, yeah, all of my drug I mean. days, I can literally. It's I have sideburns mm-hmm. in all of them, and then I don't. And other ones, and I was hanging out with Ian, another uh, still has sideburns. recently recovered. Now he's cut them, but me and we're having a conversation. Me, him, and Ben Smith. We're at my place, and we're talking about who would be the main character. This and is was, recently. Uh, this was like a few months ago. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And I was like, I was like, oh, I mean, I would obviously be the main character. And Ian was actually trying to contest. He goes like, I would be the main character for sure if this was a show. And we both lost our minds. Mm-hmm. Ben was like, I may be in contention. Mm-hmm. You, absolute, you're the guy who just came in, <laughs> immediately made a bunch of noise, opened Spencer's fridge and pulled out a donut, and you got these big ass sideburns. Right. You're the off, you <laughs> you're the are, Kramer. you're Kramer. You yeah, are that. And, uh, and I see Ian a few days later, and he doesn't have his sideburns. He cut them. <laughs> and he goes, you guys were making fun of me for the sideburns. And then I started looking around over the next few days, and I was like, nobody else has them. But there's this thing where we, right after you like get clean, you've been in like a, you've been in a time capsule because you haven't kept up on stuff, and you don't realize that it's like, yeah, dude, we roll our jeans up now and we don't have sideburns. <laughs> you missed all that. Yeah, you do you know miss I mean? that. That's me with a binky in my mouth. It seems like you have something you want to say. You know what I wish came back? What uh, the chin strap? Remember that? <laughs> oh, that's back. The, that's back. The little, but not the, no, no. I'm talking about like the three hairs across one. Yep. Where yeah. it was just super skinny. Yeah. And, like, and then right above your lip. Mm-hmm. So gross. Yeah, I could so do that pretty foul. good. Yeah. No, I could would. fucking cut it up. Will you nice. do that? Yeah, we can do a chin strap. Will you actually? When I come back uh, from Vegas, yeah. You got to keep it. When, like when are you going to Vegas? Pinky. Next week. Next week's King Fest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna get on anything? Yeah, I think I'll get on a few spots here and there. Uh, how do you know? Uh, I've got a guest pass from another comedian that's going up, mm-hmm. so I have his backstage pass to go around, and then there's people that I know that'll be running stages, people from the creek, uh, oh, nice. and hopefully they're going to throw me Who? up. Uh, Zach, the bartender from the creek. Oh, that's tight. Okay. So hopefully I'm going to get up a few times. So you, can get a, you can get some spots. A, a spot, if I get a spot or two, good That'd weekend in Vegas. I got friends from Wisconsin who are going to be in Vegas as well, so it's going to so be, be a good time. you actually have It's going to be a good time. Yeah, yeah, regardless. Fun. Also, I just want to say this about Burger King uh, before we finish up. I think Burger King, they're the the only thing that they're going for is to be next to a McDonald's, and that when that McDonald's gets a really long line, people <laughs> can just go to the Burger King. I don't think they have any other strategy. Actually, a smart strategy. And I like, there's no one that's like, okay, fast food Burger King. Yeah. But there's a ton of people that are like, I don't want to spend 20 minutes to get McDonald's. Right. I'll take a fucking Whopper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it's pretty good. I'll burger, take a burger Whopper in the 15 tasty. minutes. A oh, burger, king? burger Yeah, pretty good. I don't think I'm a fan of the Whopper. I remember they had those long chicken sandwiches. That were classic oh, chicken. those were actually pretty good. Chicken yeah. fries were not bad Chicken either. fries were good. Do you no, get burger fast food? Actually, one? pretty good. Bur- no, Burger King's <laughs> awesome. I disagree. Well, uh, burger King's very flipped. good. It's, uh, I mean, I haven't had it in seven years, but it's. I remember it being great. Mm-hmm. Chick-fil-A is the best one, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. right now, Chick-fil-A is on top of the game. Taco Bell. What is it? Taco Bell. You guys don't. Me and Josh are eye to eye. If you Not want, at all. No Mexican food, dude. <laughs> good. <laughs> Taco Bell has. If you guys like like good Oaxacan food and like regional food, Taco Bell. What do you get from Taco Bell? What's your what's I, I, your oh. authenticity? <laughs> Honestly, I only get Oaxacan stuff. I get the cheesy gordita crunch every time, and I'll just get fucking four of them. Yeah, you're probably call, you're probably saying like Oaxaca. That's probably how you pronounce it. Right? I go. No, I, no, how fuzzy does? Oh well, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuzzy's Washington. probably like Oaxaca. What is it? Oaxacan? <laughs> I order my Taco Bell in Spanish. <laughs> so <laughs> racist. No, I go. <laughs> to go the, up the commercial tells you to. I go. I go. Uh, yo quiero. That would be cuatro. so funny. You, you say Cheese it in Spanish. Crunches, por favor. You say it in Spanish to a black kid. He doesn't understand you, so he goes okay. And you thought he said K. So <laughs> you say it again. And I go see. Sí. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, como se dice uh, Mountain Dew Baja Blast in <laughs> español. <laughs> como se dice? And then, uh, you do it like a Barcelona. And then they go con queso, and I go Clara Casey, Clara Casey. You do taco con con padot. You do like <laughs> Barcelona yeah. Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Barcelona Spanish. Yeah, How do you like, say cucumba? Cucumba. cucumba. Yeah, 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 yeah. Espanol. People. But yeah, that's if you want. Because, yeah, I mean, the Taco Bells here are good, too. Like, people talk about uh, Texas and uh, awesome tacos, dude. It's great. The cheese gordita crunch you get in the morning, it's a good breakfast taco. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just good. I mean, it's just a good taco. You know, uh, so really good Mexican food that they have here. Have you heard of this Chipotle? 
<laughs> That's white people Mexican, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's not authentically Taco Bell. <laughs> Buddy, they don't make tacos in a bowl. A burrito bowl? Oh, mm. well, okay. Well, what else do you have? A car airplane? Like, they're two separate things. <laughs> There's a place, I forgot what it's called. We just went there the other night. It's on Cesar Chavez. It's an actual authentic uh, Mexican place. Las Trancas. Might be that, yeah. and they do uh, they do late night till like three a.m. and they do two dollar breakfast tacos, two fifty, and they're yeah. fucking banging, dude. Yeah, it's they're so good. Make it's, pro- it's it's what probably like four blocks from the highway. Yes, yeah, and it's, then it's on the right side. Yeah. and uh, it's a late night place, and they fucking oh, the breakfast tacos are so good, mm-hmm. and they're so cheap. I'm gonna like have that. Indian food tonight. I'm breaking keto tonight. Oh, mm-hmm. hell yeah. Where are you gonna get it from? Up in Pflugerville. Zavia? Curry Kitchen. Z- Zavia? Zavia's Pakistani. Oh. I keep, I keep trying to fucking get a night off to just order food and pick it up, and I keep just getting booked. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting booked last minute, and I'm like, that truly, are, you, are you on a show tonight? Tonight I am, but, it, but it, and I, it's, it's last minute. I've had nothing in October, and Clock just out. in like the last week, it's now yeah, it's yeah. like, when am I going to be able to eat Indian food? Yeah. I keep getting booked. <laughs> <laughs> get it, man. Yeah. How are the crowds too? I mean, <laughs> yeah. We're doing, up. I mean, I'm not headlining. I'm how, doing how, long sets. How are sales end. for tomorrow? Uh, I haven't looked. Probably pretty good. Oh yeah, you're doing Slugfest at the yeah. Creek now. Yeah, you're working though, so you can't come. No, I'm, I'm not working tomorrow. Oh, uh, I think we had a spot for you. That's, oh uh, wait, you were free tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I had to work tonight. I might be able to give you a long guest name if you want to. What? I would love that. You want to do a guest name? <laughs> that would be so fun, yeah. You, want, you actually want to? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, this will drop the day after, but wish that you had been to Fuzzy's guest spot. To Creek in the Cave, the Slugfest. Tuesday, 7. Every first and third Tuesday. I hate Tuesday. the fucking, I, I, help me come up with a better slogan on it, because I, I had to put something to fill the What's negative it space. It says the Home Run Derby of Laughs, which is gay as shit. So gay. Oh, my God, Spencer. <laughs> know, if that was dude, you, you I should know. know better. That's it's, insane. Go, 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 <laughs> he asked for, he asked for a, a, like a, a flyer the first time I did Slugfest. it. Slugfest. I'm the gayest man you've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, 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 st- I opened with I don't like it, but I had to fill the negative space with something, and I kept playing with different shit, and I was like, how I about, how about How about Slugfest? We hit dingers. No. How about Slugfest? Take a swing. How about Slugfest? Not like the animal, more like the baseball reference because the comedy's so good. Yeah. The home run derby laughs. Slugfest. That's kind of what I was. Kind of what I was hey, pitching heat. Yeah, but if you see where it is, though, I can't just put pitching heat there. I got to fill up like quite a bit of negative space. Okay, just make it bigger to font. Just do size 30 font. Okay. That's what yeah. I did on all my essays as a kid. <laughs> size 30 oh, how about this? They were like, do 200 words. I was like, what about 10? Slugfest. Slugfest. <laughs> Enjoy the slime. <laughs> Slugfest. Slugfest. Leave your salt at home. This is stand up for on steroids. Ooh. Ooh. Heavy hitters only. Oh, Slugfest. Did so much steroids, my penis is small, and I beat my wife. <laughs> I've been mm. beating my wife, and I played for the Cardinals. Slugfest. We have acne. <laughs> Slugfest. Slugfest. Like Barry Barry Jail Bonds. <laughs> Barry, Barry, Jail Barry, Bonds. Barry, Barry, please pay my bonds. <laughs> I, I think I think heavy hitters Slugfest the he, heavy hitters of comedy is okay. No, nah, that's bad. It's not as bad as the home run derby for laughs. Of of laughs, not for laughs. Oh, that's good. Yeah, now. that's good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Sorry, I thought it was for it. I was like, hey, that is yeah, up. No, I was like, Slugfest. Welcome uh, to the majors. Sl- Slugfest. What if I, I keep... Major League Comedy. Thing? Major League Comedy. Major, Major League, League Com- Actually, just change it to the name Slugfest. of Major League Comedy. My eyes are up here. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, okay. All right. That's a wrap. All right. All right. All right. See, we love you. you All right. Come see. to Slugfest yesterday. 25 subscribers, huh?